Hello boys and girls and uh, welcome back to Mount Logan in our kindergarten VLA classroom. Well, I hope you've been learning a lot of things today and I hope your brain has been growing so big. Well, this is Magic Treehouse number four, Pirates Past Noon. And do you remember the author and illustrator of these books? It's a woman, and she is very good. She's very smart, and she's a good drawer. Mary Pope Osborne. All right, well, chapter four is called Vile Booty, and let's find out what that means by reading the chapter. Jack started to run across the hot sand. He ran as fast as he could, but the pirates ran faster. Before Jack knew it, the big pirate grabbed him. <gasps> Jack struggled, but the pirate had huge, strong arms. He held out he held on to Jack and laughed, a mean, ugly laugh. He had a shaggy black beard, a patch covered one eye. Jack heard Annie yelling. He saw her coming down the rope ladder. Stay where you are, Jack shouted. But Annie kept coming. Leave him alone, you bully, she cried. The other two pirates laughed meanly. They were dirty and ragged. Annie charged up to the biggest pirate. Let him go, she said. She hit the pirate with her fist and kicked him, but the pirate just growled. Then he grabbed her, too, and with his giant hands, he held Jack and Annie as if they were two kittens. No one escapes, Captain Bones, he roared. His breath was terrible. Let's go, Annie shouted into his face, but Captain Bones just smiled. All his teeth were black. Annie fell silent. Captain Bones laughed loudly. Then he turned to the other two. Sounds like he needs to brush his teeth. Find out what's in their house, you dogs, he said. Aye, aye, Captain, they answered, and they started up the ladder to the treehouse. Do you remember how many pirates there are that were in the boat? Three. Captain Bones, and let's find out what the other two are. What do you spy, Pinky? shouted Captain Bones. Books, Captain, Pinky shouted down. Ah, books, growled Captain Bones. He spit on the sand. I want gold, you dogs. Dogs are nicer than you, said Annie. Shh, said Jack. What about you, Stinky? Captain Bones roared. Just books, Captain, shouted Stinky. Ah, books, said Captain Bones. He spit on the sand again. I hate books. Keep looking, dogs. Find me something good. He hates books? Captain Bones grabbed Jack's backpack. What's in here, he said. Nothing. Jack quickly opened the pack. Just paper, a pencil, a book. Another book, roared Captain Bones. That's vile booty. Vile booty. Hmm. A gleeful shriek pierced the air. Captain Bones froze. What's that, he shouted. Look, Captain, look. Pinky leaned out the treehouse window. He held the medallion. It glimmered in the sunlight. Oh, brother, thought Jack. Throw it down, cried Captain Bones. It's not yours, shouted Annie. Captain Bones dropped Jack and Annie. He caught the medallion as it fell. Gold, 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 he cried. Captain Bones threw, his, threw back his head and laughed horribly. He grabbed two of his pistols. He shot them into the air. Pinky and Stinky howled like wolves. What's a pistol? Yeah, it's a gun. It's a gun that you just hold in your one hand. Well, vile booty. Well, the booty for a pirate is treasure, and vile means not good, because he called books vile booty, and they don't like books, and I'm not so sure what I think about these pirates. Um, Captain Bones, Pinky, and Stinky. So there's three new characters in that chapter, so we have five characters all together, because three plus two equals five. Captain Bones, Pinky, Stinky. Who were the other two characters? Jack and Annie. Chapter 5 is what we're going to read tomorrow, and it's The Kid's Treasure. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye.